Albany Floyd County Schools have their students going back to class today. WDRB's Lexi Ratterman is at Scribner Middle School this morning talking to the district superintendent. Lexi. Candace Sterling, it's a little hard to tell, but there is a lot of excitement behind the masks here and especially behind the mask of Dr. Brad Snyder, superintendent for New Albany Floyd County Schools. First day back to school. Always exciting. Obviously, though, we do have to address the, the elephant in the room, these masks. So tell me what the district is uh, their stance on masking and, and all of those requirements or mandates. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Yes. It's, it's great. Great to be out here this morning. Um, we are currently in a recommended, you know, highly encouraged, you know, whatever verb you want to use, not required, not mandated. Um, we are watching the surge and talking with health professionals, and that may change if our situation worsens. But uh, today, it's uh, parental choice, optional, you know, that type of thing. And uh, we think a lot of kids will wear them, uh, and, and some won't. Um, but again, for our older kids, they kind of have two options. They can wear the mask, they can get the vaccine. Uh, right now our younger kids don't have the vaccine option, but certainly they can wear the mask if they like. And you mentioned that some kids will probably wear the mask. We were at New Albany High School and saw some kids trickling in. And we, I would say just uh, looking, it looked about to be 50-50, if not 60-40, 60 wearing the mask. Um, and, and you mentioned that administrators, you know, you want to be role models because in this time, you know, a day and age, peer pressure is going to be huge with wearing masks. Not something you think of. That's right. We. Uh, I talked to my, our staff yesterday and I gave them a directive. I, I want them to wear the mask for at least uh, the first week or so. Um, and, I, and I may return personal discretion back to them. I may uh, make them wear them some more, but, but basically that's it. I, I'm sure there's students arriving today uh, with peer pressure and might not have the confidence that we want them to have. And I just, we just want them to know that it's okay. It's fine. It's, uh, it's a new world order. And if they want to wear a mask, wear the mask, you know, it's good. And lastly, you have your beautiful first day of school tie on that pink and purple. You're ready. What's the excitement going into this year like? Well, uh, I, as I told you for the interview, I'm, I'm 60 years old and I, I still hit the floor with a bounce in my step and look forward to picking out my shirt and tie <laughs> just like the 13 year old girls that are going to walk in here in a minute. <laughs> and it's fun. It's, it's a great day and it's a new beginning. It's new, you know, it's bittersweet for some of the parents, uh, but the kiddos, man, they're, they're rocking. They're ready, they're ready to do this, and we're ready to have them. A fresh start this year, ready to go at New Albany Floyd County Schools. Around 11,000, more than 11,000 students will be heading through the school building starting today. Excitement is building. That school bell here at the middle schools will ring at 9 o'clock today. Stick with us as we will show some students arriving for their first day back to school here soon. Reporting live, Lexi Ratterman, WDRB News.